Halima from France, her brother has an issue of when cleaning himself after urinating, he feels that splashes of the water came back from the toilet seat to his buttocks. And some of the people I've met in counseling sessions say they feel it on their necks. And I don't know whether they were washing or dropping rocks so that it would splash this, this high. Most of these are whispers of shaitan. And the default is, if there is certainty, you have to wash it off. If there is no certainty, then ignore it. And when we say certainty, when you wash yourself with water, the amount that splashes back from the toilet seat can be urine, can be water, can be little urine mixed with a lot of water because the water overwhelms the amount of urine. So are you certain that this is najasa or not? Certain 100%. And you have proof of it? Everybody will say, mm, I don't have proof. I'm, I'm not certain, but I'm most likely, if you're not certain with finding a color, a taste, a smell, then there is doubt. And whenever there is doubt, we cast the doubt away. To be safe rather than sorry, wet your hand, wipe your buttocks with the water that is in your hands. That's sufficient to remove the impurity, which we initially don't, uh, 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 we are not certain that it is an impurity to begin with, but just to be safe rather than sorry. What happens if I touch my clothes? This is a whole different ball game. People consider impurities worse than the plague, worse than COVID-19, because they make one tiny splash or drop spread all over the place, the carpet, the sofas, the door handles and the knobs and, and the switches. What is this? Even a virus cannot spread this far. So people are making life difficult. Islam is not a difficult religion. Islam is a religion of ease. None of the companions ever suffered from this, nor the tabi'een. So are you more righteous and practicing than them to have these ideas? Are you the chosen one? Of course not. So uh, uh, ignore these and move on.